Okay, it's July 2nd, 2021. I'm Todd Dunn, and today I'm going to be taking a look at restaurants in Southwest Harbor, Maine. And uh, basically, we're going to see what's open and what isn't, and where you can get something to eat in Southwest Harbor. Now, we're coming into town from the north, and here we go. The first restaurant that you pass is the Rogue Restaurant. It was a relatively new restaurant a couple years ago. Uh, I don't know if it's open this year. I've seen no sign that it is open. It wasn't open last year, and I think it may have gone under during uh, the pandemic. But as I said, there is no sign yet that it's open. Now here, there is a food truck that is currently open. It was there last year, and uh, it uh, is definitely up and running this year. Now the first street we're gonna come to here as we head into town is Clark Point Road. And it's right up here. It's a right turn. And there is a restaurant in there. Now I'm down on Clark Point Road, which is about half a mile north of the main part of downtown on Route 102. And you can just turn off onto Clark Point Road. You get to a little strip mall. And this is a new old restaurant. Uh, it's new because the restaurant has new proprietors. And it's old in two ways. This has been a restaurant for a long time under a variety of names. Immediately before the current incarnation is the Quiet Side Cafe, it was Brendan and Laura's. And before it was Brendan and Laura's, it was the Cozy Cove. And it has uh, been here as a restaurant for a long time. The other way that it's an old restaurant is that the current proprietors were running the Quiet Side Cafe right in downtown on Main Street for many, many years. And it has just opened up here this year. And at the other end of the restaurant proper, they have opened up an ice cream takeout where you can grab an ice cream. And I'm pretty sure that they have been doing a land office business for the last week when it was in the 80s here in Southwest Harbor. But uh, today it's barely 60 degrees and they don't look very busy. And as we come out of Clark Point Road, we pass the Milagro Cafe and Espresso. And it is closed. I've seen no sign that it is open this year. Okay, I'm on the street right behind Main Street. Just to give you a reference where I am, this is the back of the Southwest Par Harbor Public Library, which fronts on Main Street in Southwest Harbor. And this is a restaurant that last year was called Coda. I don't know if it opened last year, but it's definitely opened this year, but it's changed. I don't know if it changed ownership, but it's definitely changed what it was. And now it is a uh, place called Bub's Burritos and appears to be takeout with some outdoor seating. And uh, it is new in that incarnation this year. Now here at the other end of the street is St. Drew's Coffee Shop and ice cream parlor. It is outside seating only over here. And uh, it has uh, been open for about two years. And it seems to be open right now. From here, we'll walk out to Main Street. And, uh, which is a short block. We have made it out to Main Street. And we're at the core of downtown Southwest Harbor, all two blocks of it. And we'll walk through and take a look at the restaurants here. The uh, first one we're coming to is right here with outdoor seating under the trees and umbrellas. And <laughs> they even have their outdoor heat turned on today because it's only about 60 degrees. This is Eta Pita.
And as you can see, even though it's a bit after lunchtime, they are open and serving. And we'll continue down Main Street another block and a half and take a look at the other options. And here we go. Here's the first place. This is brand new. It's called Wood Fired Food. And they have indoor seating. They have been open, uh, but they're only open apparently in the evening, 5 to 10. I don't know what their menu has. We can see a little bit of it through the window. At least I can. They've got pizza, various types of pizza, and some salads. So it's basically a pizza shop. And we'll keep going and see what else there is. The next place we come to is the Little Notch Cafe, which serves uh, light lunches and pastries. You can see lots of nice looking cookies there. And they are apparently operating as takeout only right now. And we just have a little bit further to go till we get to the last couple of options here on Main Street. Just past Clark Point Road is the Cafe Dry Dock and Inn, which serves lunch and dinner. And they are open. They have outside seating when it's nice, and they also have inside seating. Across the street from the Dry Dock Inn is the 360 Main Street Ice Cream Parlor. They also apparently serve lobster rolls. And this is the former location of the Quiet Side Cafe. I don't know if it's under new proprietors or if the same people are running it in addition to the Quiet Side Cafe. Okay, now I'm at the intersection of uh, Main Street and Clark Point Road. And we'll continue down here a little bit. And the first restaurant we come to is Sips. It uh, serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And uh, is open most days. I'm not sure exactly what their hours are. Sorry for all the traffic noise. And they're open Tuesday through Saturday. So, Sips is up and running for 2021. And we'll keep going here a little bit. There are two or three more places to check out on this end of Clark Point Road. First one we're going to come to is the Red Sky Restaurant, which is open for dinner. Uh, it says Thursday through Sunday. And their menu is uh, a little bit pricey. Most main courses are in the $30 range with a high end of about $50. And as we continue down, we can cross the street over into what used to be Southwest Harbor Motor Company and now is a bunch of different businesses. And right here at the end is a little uh, outdoor dining area that is run by the Common Good Cafe. And 7.30 to 11 a.m. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, they serve a breakfast service of popovers and hot cereal, uh, toast and jam, and a few other things. And it is by donation. You can pay what you feel is appropriate. And the Common Good uh, runs a soup kitchen in the winter for local people. It's as much a social event as it is an opportunity to get something to eat. And they also distribute food to uh, shut-ins and that sort of thing. And they use the donations they get here in the summer to fund that. And this is, uh, if you don't feel like going over to Jordan Pond House and you want to come by here Friday, Saturday, or Sunday morning, you can get very good popovers 
uh, right here in Southwest Harbor. And just past the common good, as we head toward the post office, we run into another little restaurant, which is Sips 2.0, which is uh, more of a sort of food takeout setup uh, associated with Sips restaurant across the street. Same people own it. And they have uh, basically prepared food, sandwiches, etc., cold drinks that you can pick up and take out. So that pretty much covers the restaurants in the main part of Southwest Harbor. And we're gonna head out Clark Point Road to check out a couple of other options. Okay, now we're headed out Clark Point Road from Main Street and there are uh, four restaurants out here that I know of. And uh, we will have a look at as much as we can see of them. Now the first place we come to is right here, MTI Lobster and Barbecue, and it's right down the road here, and this used to be the Southwest uh, Lobster Dock, and it has uh, been sold and reincarnated as a restaurant. If we can, now we'll continue down Clark Point Road right to the end and just before the Coast Guard Station we're going to get to the next restaurant. Just... Okay this is Beale's Lobster Pier. There's a seafood restaurant here at this end of the pier with uh, outdoor seating and they also have some indoor seating there and takeout. You can order right over there. And the other end of the pier is a commercial lobster dock where lobstermen sell their lobsters and buy fuel and bait for their boats. And this is, again, right at the end of Clark Point Road next to the Coast Guard. The brick building is part of the Coast Guard base. Now as we turn around at the end of Clark Point Road and head back toward Main Street, the first side street we come to uh, heads over to the last two restaurants in this part of Southwest Harbor and that's Claremont uh, Road and not surprisingly Claremont Road goes to the Claremont Hotel. This is the Claremont Hotel. It's the oldest hotel on the island dates back into the 1880s one of the few old hotels that didn't burn down and here at the claremont there are two restaurants in the main building but you can't really see the restaurant from here i don't want to go onto their property because i'm not a guest is a fine dining restaurant called little fern it used to be xanthus Changed names because the Claremont changed ownership last year and has undergone a significant renovation that moved the rest hotel upscale from where it was as one of the finest hotels on the island. And down below, they have a dockside restaurant that is right on the water that serves uh, what they call small meals. And both restaurants have a wonderful view out over the water toward the entrance of Somme Sound. Okay, now we're heading out of Southwest Harbor, going south. And in just a little bit, we will get to the last restaurant in the main part of Southwest Harbor. The first option is right up here about uh, oh, a quarter mile out of downtown and it is at the uh, road Apple Lane that goes down to the marina and it's called the Upper Deck. Now this restaurant has been here for a long time and it has 
outside seating on the other side of the little building and has a great view out over Southwest Harbor. Here, here is the head of the harbor. And right past the head of the harbor, you come to an intersection where you can turn left and go out 102A, or you can continue toward Bass Harbor on 102. And out here a little bit, we are going to come to another takeout restaurant. But it's a mile or two out here, so I'm gonna stop until we get there. About two miles out Route 102, we come to this little takeout restaurant. And uh, it mostly does uh, lobster rolls, chowder, burgers, and blueberry pie. It's uh, quite busy normally at uh, lunch and dinner time. And uh, the biggest issue it has is parking. There's very little parking and you have to park alongside the road. Well, I forgot one restaurant. I'm returning toward Southwest Harbor on Route 102A and right here we're at Mansell Lane. This is about half a mile after you turn on to Route 102A. And if you turn down here, you can go down to Shore Road, which runs surprisingly right along the shore of Southwest Harbor. And uh, right down here at the end of Shore Road on the right hand side is Hinkley Yachts. Uh, not surprising, you see a Hinkley jet boat sitting there. And, uh, but we're gonna turn left. And go down here just a little bit till we get to the Southwest Harbor Town Dock on the Manset side of the harbor, which is the south side of the harbor. And you can see we're driving right along the shore of Southwest Harbor. And right up here is a restaurant that I forgot. <laughs> okay, this is Peter Trout's restaurant. It's right across from the Manset Town Dock here on Southwest Harbor. And you can see that you have a fair amount of outside seating that uh, last week was full every day. Uh, today, with a nice north breeze and a 60 degree temperature, outside seating isn't so busy, but there is seating indoors. And here's the view. Looks right out over Southwest Harbor. You can park here at the town dock or in this lot here. If instead of turning on to uh, Route 102A as you go past the end of the harbor in Southwest Harbor, you just continue on uh, Route 102 toward Bass Harbor, uh, about a mile and a half down the road, you're going to come to your last option to get a meal in Southwest Harbor. Now, about four minutes past downtown Southwest Harbor, on Route 102, we come to Gott's Store. <laughs> okay, this is Gott's Store. It uh, isn't exactly going to draw you in as a fine dining establishment, because that's not what it is. As you can see, it's a little gas station, which normally has the cheapest gas on this part of the island, and a little convenience store, and they also do takeout. Uh, they make a very good pizza. You can call ahead and order it. And they have a number of other takeout items, fish and chips, hamburgers, etc. And they bake cookies and things like that and uh, make pretty good cookies. You can always buy a dozen. And over there at the end of the store, in the summer, they have an ice cream takeout. So this is a, a fairly popular place with the locals. It's open all year. But it doesn't pull in a lot of tourists, except those who are thinking about getting some gas. Largely because it doesn't exactly look like a place to grab a meal. But uh, their pizza is quite good and reasonably priced. Okay, that uh, pretty much ends my look at restaurants in Southwest Harbor, Maine. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Give me that thumbs up. And thank you for watching.